edge of this big circle is uh, is clamped and the force of 500 pounds is applied on the very top. So let's go ahead and make this uh, uh, this uh, geometry. I would like to point out that uh, uh, this particular geometry and the load and restraint, this particular problem has actually uh, many planes of symmetry. For example, I can take one eighth, uh, one eighth of this. Uh, let me see, not one eighth. Uh, one that will be one sixth of this uh, uh, semicircle. Uh, uh, let's see if I can explain this by making a quick drawing here for you. Uh, let me see, let's see. So uh, I'm going to start the word file. There we are. Okay. So when you think about this thing, the problem can be modeled. Here is the original problem. Thing in the middle, and then there is a hole here, and a hole here, and a hole here. That's 120 degrees. Uh, one chunk that I can model is like this. This is one possibility, and the other possibility is like that. Either way, uh, this is uh, which now this is 30 degrees. This cut cut is 30 degrees. So I'm going to do this one. All right, I'm going to do this, and keep in mind that we have a plane of symmetry here and a plane of symmetry in this direction. However, I will make the entire model and then cut it to these planes to obtain what I want. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> Don't need this anymore. Uh, let's start Katia uh, on a convenient plane. On this uh, horizontal plane, I will sketch a circle like that. Uh, I think the radius of this circle is... Uh, uh, 10 so diameter 20 Okay, there we are uh, And there is a stand in the middle the stand in the middle had the radius of uh, uh, 2 so let me also make this thing Diameter of 4 Exit and I do a multi pad if I do a pad there's going to be a hole in the middle I don't want a hole so I'm going to do a multi-pad. So let me see now. This one is going to get padded by... Uh, what was the geometry? I can't see. The height of this thing was... Uh, this was this one was 2. The other one was 3. Okay, so this is the small circle. It's going to get padded by height of 3. And this is the big circle. And it's going to get padded by height of 2. There we are. Okay. Now, on this plane, I will sketch. I'll sketch a circle. Okay, I don't know what the distance uh, of that center to here. Uh, the distance is seven inches from the center to that center. So let's create a dimension here from there to there. This is seven. All right, and the diameter of that uh, circle itself. I believe that is one, or the uh, radius is one. Uh, radius is one, so diameter is two. Yeah, something like this. Exit. Let me make a pocket. Uh, not a pocket, a pad. Like so, of a height of uh, two. Can't remember what was the what was the height here. Oh, that's the pocket. Sorry, that's a pocket. So cancel that. You're going to make a pocket. There's a pocket uh, up to last. And there we are. Now, we would like to create another circle, two more circles at 120 degrees. So why don't we use a complete crown? Uh, circular symmetry. Okay, so uh, complete crown. Uh, three of them. I don't know whether I need two or three. We'll find out two. And uh, a reference plane is this uh, a circular plane, and the number obviously must be three. Okay, preview. And what I want to 
pocket, the water water pattern is actually not the entire solid model, it's that pocket that we created. Okay, that, that's fine. There we are. Okay. Now I'll start cutting, <laughs> cutting this thing at the proper angles. So one cutting, one cutting plane is, my guess is that it's this. And then another plane that I need to create at uh, a 30 degrees. So let me see for a second. This is the, uh, let's look at the, uh, not this view, the other one. Here's the top view. Yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, I need to create a, a, a plane which is at 30 degrees uh, in this direction. So let's, let's actually do that. And I, we may have to do a few uh, trial and errors here, but uh, uh, maybe uh, the what's the best way of doing this thing? So uh, okay, uh, plane. All right. Let's see, the one that I want, there are different ways of creating this plane properly, but I'm going to do that through, uh, uh, let me see now, uh, uh, there is something angle of that, let me see, point and line, two points, I think the one that we want is angle and normal to a plane. Let's try this. Okay, let's see what it says. Rotation axis. Well, first of all, the default plane or the uh, rotation axis, right click, we make it Z axis. Okay. Reference is the plane that, okay, this plane and the angle 30, 30 degrees. Review. Yeah, you can see that the green, the green plane here has been created for this green plane, which I think is what what we want. So we'll find out. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's start splitting this. So split with uh, first of all, uh, exit plane. Keep the other side. There we are, and then split more time split with that tilted plane that we just created and keep the other side no actually uh, yeah that's the side you want to keep and uh, right there all right as i said there are different ways of doing this thing this was one particular way so i'll leave it to you to decide how this is to be done uh save file save management save as uh desktop new folder so I'll call it the uh, cylinder fixed at edges. How about that? Okay, that's fine. Apply material to it. Where is the apply material? Let's make it out of uh, steel once again. Steel, there we are. We say okay, and we save everything. Good, we now go to generative structure analysis. Right away mesh it, and we're totally ignoring the fact that this mesh may not be sufficient. Uh, I'm just showing you the, the steps uh, in order to this is up to you. There we are. Okay. Let's deactivate the mesh. Oops, deactivate it. And proceed with the rest of the problem. All right. So what do we know? Uh, the edge, this edge was uh, clamped. So this edge is clamped. Okay, good. And then we have to put surface slider on planes of symmetry. And let's make sure we don't miss anything. This is a plane of symmetry. This is a plane of symmetry. And you turn it around. That entire back face is a plane of symmetry. And we say OK. Now, as far as the load goes, as far as the load goes, we are applying total 500 pounds on that top face, uh, top circular face, I believe. 500 pounds. OK. First, let me go ahead and change my unit so that everything is in, uh, 
Imperial Unit Tools, uh, Tools Options. <coughs> All right, just a second. All right, on their uh, parameters and units, on the units, uh, let's see now. Our uh, length is already in inches, force, I want to convert it to pounds. And pressure, or the stress, we want to plot it in PSI. So where is pressure? If you want to make this thing alphabetical so that finding things is easier, so click on magnitude, it puts it in, uh, sorts it out in alphabetical order. And pressure is just regular pressure right here. We want to convert this thing to PSI, which is right there. Okay, good. So uh, we have a force, total force on that face of, now remember, oops, uh, 500 pounds. Uh, 500 pounds actually is on the entire top circular face, but this is only one six of it. So you say minus 500 divided by 6. I think that'll do it. Acts like a calculator too. There we are. And you say OK. You're going to save the uh, we're going to save the analysis file before we run it. Analysis, save as, default name, same folder. And then uh, run it. There's nothing uh, complicated to display here, it's just a, you know, deflection, downward deflection, right there, we can animate it, you can notice that this uh, side edges, side edges clamp, you can see that, all right, and uh, stop this, what do we have here, what else to show, for example, we can show the displacement, downward displacement, in the form of uh, average ISO, there we are, See, the biggest displacement needed to say is in the middle. And if you look at the stress, one meter stress, it looks like that. Again, because there's a, there's a sharp angle here, it's not, and most of the bending takes place at the middle. It's like a, you know, it's like a simply supported beam. The biggest stress is right in the middle, okay, the, where the biggest deflection is. All right, so uh, I'm going to stop this, and hopefully you can do your...